Good Tuesday evening. Glad to have you with us here at KBZK. I'm Patrice Parks. And I'm Kevin Stanfield. Last night, Bozeman City Commissioners voted 4-1 to one to begin plans to create a Parks and Trails Special District throughout the city. That's right. MTN's Morgan Davies explains what this would mean for residents, especially ones that have parks in their neighborhoods. For most neighborhoods, HOA fees go to the upkeep of their park. However, this can get costly for some residents, especially if their neighborhood park is enjoyed by people all over Bozeman. Very few people in an HOA think about parks all the time. So get the professionals in there, let them do it on a bigger scale so they can hire by the right a mower, the right equipment, things like that. It'll be less expensive and we'll be giving everyone in the city the same equal experience. Right now, everyone is paying property taxes, which does go to some park maintenance. A typical Bozeman family is paying $76 in fees for parks annually, plus whatever their HOA fee may be. By creating a special district, HOA fees for some neighborhoods may go down. The proposal would go up to about $92, but again, a lot of those people wouldn't be paying their HOA, so they may break even or actually see a slight decrease. To ensure that this is the best step to maintain the parks and keep costs down, the city has been conducting studies for the last two and a half years. This department is the first one that we've really dialed in through GIS and monitoring. We've put a unit in every truck and we track where everyone goes and what they do. So we've got a pretty good idea of what it takes to maintain or keep a park. And so when we extrapolate out to say, oh, we'll take over the HOAs, it's, it, the margin of error is pretty low. Bozeman would not be the first Montana city to adopt a special district plan. Missoula, Billings, and Helena already have the system in place. In Bozeman, Morgan Davies, MTN News. Now, before the special district can go into effect, a public vote will need to be held or residents will have a chance to protest. 